Welcome to the Swing Trading with Cycles channel. We're going to do a review of uranium tonight. It is November 8th. It's Tuesday, so we've got two solid days of price action, which means the Tuesday candle either, you know, followed the same direction as the move on Monday, it consolidated, or we had a reversal. And in this case, we had follow through, right? Bullish follow through. So we'll start with CCJ. We'll look at the daily chart, and we've been talking about like this decline since the this swing high on day nine right and now we have an important development we now have a swing low right 15 on day 15 so this whole thing is 15 days nine day rally a six day decline now i'm i'm marking this because this is a daily cycle in progress we're marking these you know think of this as we're literally counting the rallies and declines and we'll we'll probably have a better sense of how this plays out in hindsight because notice this little thing was also 15 days right seven day rally eight day decline a big decline huge decline big gap down so you could say that this whole thing becomes combined like you know this whole thing becomes combined right this could be a 30 day thing we'll see the point is we have a swing low so we can play that right you can place your stop below this candle right like somewhere in that neighborhood that that'd be like call it 23 and a half and play for a move to like 26 maybe even testing this you know this pivot high here and you know you can set a trailing stop once it starts to move higher because you have the possibility that we're going to get a little rally here after this swing low the same way we got a little rally after that one and after this one it's just a question of how long it's going to last obviously and on the weekly chart you can see now, the danger here is that this does look like a little bit of a bear flag off of this big candle because all this is is consol like these four weeks really important to understand that are just consolidation inside the range of this huge candle that was caused by the gap down. So until we get above this candles high at twenty seven dollars or below its low at twenty one, it's all consolidation. So, again, I'll just I'll like mark that so it's like super clear, right? That's important to understand. We're just living in between 21 and 27, which is obviously a massive range, <laughs> right? For a 27, for $24 ET, for a $24 stock to have a $6 range. And so that's not super helpful in terms of the risk reward. And so that's a little bit tough here. Now I will say this looked like it was setting up another move lower because this was a swing high, right? When we were below that. But we've now recaptured that. So that again, essentially is a false breakdown. So you do have bullish catalysts and you have like this high here that you need to get above first. That's at about 26 bucks, 25.94, call it. And so you do have sort of near term targets you can kind of play before you have to get all the way up to 27, let's say. Um, and if you look at the monthly chart, this is really just consolidation, right? We had a top on month 25. If you think about a three year cycle, right? Now, notice that the I'll just flash, flat, uh, flash to the S&P really quickly. The S&P topped out on month 22. Like, notice the difference between those. This is just, I mean, not actually straight down, but like, this is a much more, like, and like, I, I guess this is best instanti instantiated in the percent decline, maybe. But like, just look at the angle of this descent versus CCJ, where. It's more kind of choppy, bull flaggy like, right? Now, that's not super helpful if you bought somewhere around here, like in that $28 range. But you you haven't been just drooping lower. And we also topped out on week 25, on month 25, not month 22. So rallied a lot longer than general stocks as well. And now on the monthly, we're forming a little bullish hammer. But again, just like we're inside that big red week, we're also just inside the red month of October. It's the same idea. It's multiple time frame analysis at work. That big weekly candle is kind of dominating the range from for um, of October. I mean, look at that. The range for October is twenty eight forty three to twenty one dollars. So that candle's low is the low for that month. And then we got a little bit higher on a, on a previous candle. So we have our high at twenty eight forty three versus like the twenty seven. But that's important to understand, which means. If you're playing this, you're playing an inside candle on multiple time frames, 
but again, you could look at the near term um, signals to you know set your stops appropriately. So now we'll look at some other names, just a smattering of names here. Um, let us start with DNN. So we're at a dollar twenty six. Same kind of idea here. More of a bull flag ish kind of structure than the S and P. You really need to hold, right? I mean. If we get that final flush lower in the S&P, we're going to see a lot of downside with these things. And here you'd be looking to hold like anywhere from like the 97 to like 88 cent range if we do get a final flush lower. And a move above 153 potentially sends you back to retest these highs at like 214. And then we see if we're really cooking with gas, we can get up to that 369 area. What about energy fuels? You, you, you. Same kind of idea bull flag this one needs a break above 821 to really get in play govix so this is much more of a decline much more similar to the s p if you think about that take it for what it's worth um yca we've talked about this one you know looking to try to test new all-time highs and this is important you know there are questions about how to play it at the higher time frame Knowing that this is red, or excuse me, green, when most uranium stocks aren't, is a signal to you. Yet at the same time, you generally want to play in a sector that it has tailwinds to the whole sector. So, so you know, you take that with a bit of a grain of salt. Elevate uranium, same kind of idea. We, we've got these clear swing highs that we need to get it back above. And definitely, I definitely go into more detail on these uh, names, long-term charts, so that things are gonna, that are going to apply for months to, to come in, in previous videos. So definitely take a look at the link in the description. And I'll also just add a uranium playlist to um, the end of this video so you can take so you can have easy access to that. And if we look at the big ETFs, URA, ooh, that's a nice looking candle for the month so far. URNM, same kind of thing. Uh, what else? Let's look at just a couple more. Can Alaska Uranium. Now this, again, so this is more govix like for what it's worth, you know, you obviously want to play in the strongest stocks in a sector if you're going to play in uranium. This is definitely not giving me that look per se. And when you think about the other options. Um, and finally, let's look at Paladin. So Paladin is looking interesting, just kind of consolidating. And this is the OTC version here. So you might get clearer price action on the one that trades on the A6. Let's see. Yeah, that looks better. So look at that. That's a nice little looking bull flag where you really need to kind of get above this like 93 area, 91 area. We're down here at 84. And then, you know, you know, maybe a test. Wow, that's that's like a 10x. Now, I don't know what dilution looks like for this kind of thing or anything like that. So definitely buyer beware there. But like just from a pure chart perspective, you know, you can see rationality getting back to like a dollar forty. If we get, you know, that once we get that long term cycle low and we start that advance, um, that looks like an important level. So that's the update on uranium across the board. I'd say the general direction of the market is what's going to pull this thing either higher or lower as usual right and the cpi number coming out thursday is certainly going to be the next kind of pivot point for the market so that's what we're going to be watching for i'll definitely try to release a video about that um just in general so that we understand where the trend is going because i think that's the most important thing so that's the that, that's your rundown thanks for watching